Since the pandemic, James Russworm's commute has been just down the hall. I don't have to pay uh, you know, gas costs to drive downtown every day or parking costs. Um, the mileage on my vehicle is a lot less. So when the video game company he works for asked employees to report to the office five days a week, he and his coworkers formed a union to fight to keep their flexibility. The benefits for working from home are really outweighing going into the office every day. And I think workers are finding that as well, that they're getting a lot better work-life balance out of it. From tech giants to big banks, companies are again telling workers to spend less time at home. 80% of Canadians who work from home say they want their situation to stay that way at least half the time. So while employers are making a fresh push to get workers back to the office, employees may start pushing back. Why do I do you need need to come back, right? I was working fine. Why? And micromanagers are like, I need to literally watch you. Employers argue that working in the office improves collaboration. But white collar workers have grown used to the perks of remote work, and research shows some workers are more productive at home. Still, this employment lawyer says the law is on the employer's side. If your employer is recalling you back to work, um, you would be required to return to work. And if you didn't want to return to work, you ha would have the choice to resign. But in this tight labor market, if offering hybrid schedules stops employees from quitting, she says employers may want to consider that compromise. It's a lot harder to onboard and find good people versus retaining really good people that you have. So I think that employees definitely have leverage. Back in Edmonton, Russ Worm's company relented, scrapping its return to the office plans. We've sort of let the genie out of the bottle at this point, right? We've seen how effective workers can be working from home. For those workers, at least, there's no going back. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Toronto.